Hey everyone, JT here, back with another video. Today I wanted to give you a quick update on my progress to get rid of my gas by installing a heat pump. Now some of you will know I've been in contact with Octopus Energy, my provider, and they've, uh, they've given me a quote. Um, the quote seemed very reasonable, considering what it was going to cost me to replace my 27-year-old gas boiler offer a really great service in that you go on the website, you just put in some basic information about how many rooms you've got in your house, how many radiators, that kind of information. They'll give you a ballpark quote. If you're happy with that, they ask you to pay a £200 deposit, and then they will send somebody around to your house um, who will be here for two or three hours, and they'll do a very in-depth survey. Now, from that, I received a proposal document uh, that I won't bore you with. It was about 27 pages. Um, it had diagrams of all the rooms, measurements, how much heat there were or heat loss there was from each room, a really, really detailed set of information and a proposal for the heat pump that they were proposing to install, the new water cylinder, and each room, uh, what we were going to do with the radiators. So ultimately, they've proposed a six kilowatt Daikin heat pump. Now, six kilowatts not the amount of energy they use; that's the amount of heat that they produce. And depending on your what's known as your COP, your uh, coefficient of performance, um, depends on how much energy you put in. But in theory, if you're getting sort of three to four, maybe you'll be putting in one point something kilowatts of energy, and you'll be getting sort of four to six out. Now. The problem with this installation was it meant that, that my two current showers in my house, both in my ensuite and the main bathroom, um, wouldn't work with the new cylinder. The new cylinder is an unvented cylinder. It's pressurized to main water levels um, rather than the unvented cylinder that I have today. Luckily, the shower that I chose, and I'd love to tell you this was through knowledge and planning, but it was just good luck. Um, it's very easy just to replace the pump modules with one that would work with the new cylinder. So that's something that we've got to take care of before they come and install it. But we will be getting, as I say, the six kilowatt heat pump. We'll be getting the new cylinder installed, and we'll also be getting uh, the vast majority of the radiators in the house will be upgraded to either twin or triple veined radiators. Now this is all going to happen in early November. Um, as I said in previous videos, I will keep you updated with how the, the, the progress goes. I'm not going to film the installers because um, A, I don't feel comfortable doing that, and B, they didn't sign up to be in YouTube videos. But we will, at the end of each day, um, it's going to be about a five-day process, I will take you through the progress and show you exactly what it is that they've done. All said and done, this was going to cost me about £3,750. Um, there was going to be a, also a £7,500 on top of that, but the government grant is going to cover that. Um, all of the approvals have been done. The DNO approval uh, happened within 24 hours. This is not something I'm used to. When I put my solar in um, G99 approval in, that took six weeks. But the, GNO, the DNO approved the heat pump within 24 hours, so all the approvals are all done. Um, now we're just waiting for the, say, the install to start at the beginning of November. Once we get the heat pump installed, I will obviously have to pay the balance. The, and as I said, it was about £3,750. £3, but just last week, Octopus announced a uh, promotion that if you order a heat pump before, the I think it's the end of November, um, they'll knock another £250 off. So we got a £250 um, taken off of that, so it'll bring it down to about £3,500. Now, when you consider our, our gas boiler that we have today is 27 years old, and although it's running fine they won't last forever. Um, at some point we would have had to think about putting a new gas boiler in and a new gas boiler plus installation all of that is going to cost somewhere in the region of three and a half thousand pounds. So we think this is a really good investment in the future. Obviously with solar and batteries being able to supply power for the heat pump it should make our heating costs really really low even in the depths of winter. So that's it for today. I will keep you up to date. If you are interested in, in either switching to Octopus or getting a heat pump installed, I will put a couple of referral codes on the screen. Obviously there is a benefit for me if you use my referral code, um, but you will also either get a discount off of your heat pump, or uh, if you're just going to switch to Octopus, there is a £50 credit on your account, um, which I will also receive on my account as well. So for anyone that does use my codes, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, it helps keep the electricity costs down and keep the lights on in the house. With that, I'm going to sign off today. 
I will keep you up to date on how the heat pump install goes. And for those of you that were waiting for the video on moving my uh, fence mounted solar panels, that will come. I'm just waiting for some good weather. It's been raining and miserable and horrible. And I don't really fancy lugging solar panels around the garden in the rain. So that video will come. We just have to wait for some good weather. With that, I'm gonna sign off today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find this useful. And if you do, and I'm lucky, I'll see you back here for the next one. Take care, bye-bye.